not yet stopped one of our fighters. Is, is this something you'd like to do against Kerber? And do you think you can do that? Yeah, I believe I can do it. But the main thing is to win. If the knockout comes, it comes. But you mentioned to me yesterday, and I don't know if you were just joking around, but you said you want to become a three division champion. You talked about flirting at the uh, cruiserweight division. Were you being honest, or was, or was that just a joke? I mean, uh, hopefully in the future. <laughs> yeah, one fight at a time, so I'm not overlooking him or no other opponent. Right now, I'm going to stay at light heavyweight. But I can see myself and finish my career at cruiserweight. Ward never, you never or Stevenson? Which Stevenson in Montreal. Uh, <laughs> huh? We would love to see Stevenson. I Montreal. wanted to see some fight, but I, I guess he wasn't interested, or I don't know. Are you interested? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's, the, that's the first fight we wanted. Even that, right after the Butte fight. How does Clement compare with Ferguson? So, are you excited to. Uh, to hear. Oh, oh, sorry, someone was asking a question. My bad. How does Clevery compare to Um, he's bigger. He's bigger. Skill-wise, I think Groves and Gale are better, but stars make fights. You never know. He's a bigger guy. Who, who's the best of the three? And who is the hardest challenge? Because you mentioned him being bigger than those two being skillful. I haven't fought him yet, so I don't know. I can only speak about the girl and bros, but they're about, they similar, you know. Um, I don't really know, to be honest. But, but they're good at, uh, you know, what's the name? Uh, the girl is probably more athletic than the girls. Would, would you rather fight and he got better wins than the girls. Would you rather fight someone bigger, but with less skills, like Clemens <coughs> or a more skillful fighter, but... Yeah, smaller in size. I want to I fight the best. The, the one that got the skills. The they say I can't be, or, you know, I want a tough challenge. I don't want, the, I don't want no easy fight. Did it impress you the way Cleverly's come back from losing to Covenant as he did? A lot of people thought he'd never recover from that, and now he's a world champion again this fight in Vegas. He's a two time world champion, you got to give him credit. He's a, he's a good, tough guy. They say that they say that his strengths are maybe not his punching power, but his work rate and his stamina, and that he will try to set a high pace. What do you think you have to do to counteract that? You have to see, wait and see fight night. If, if, if you talk about stamina, you know I, I got the stamina too, so I'm never gonna get tired. When they talk about his work rate, how important is your jab against his? Because that could be a weakness. Of his. We got different tools, so every punch is important. We got a good game plan and we're gonna execute it um, Saturday night. There is no other Swedish who has done what you have done in the Pandy Vash Master and you have done it with more historical stories. What do you say about that? That's what I'm doing. It's cool to get fans to have a lot of fun. Top English is all of a sudden. I just said that uh, in Sweden, uh, the fact that uh, Badu is like the best boxer ever, he's gonna, if he becomes a world champion in two weight classes, and he agreed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not forgetting the Marley Wilson. But, but we could. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a two weight. <laughs> hey Badu, may I? I don't, I don't want to bother, but in Montreal it's very important. You, you were interested, already interested, to fight against Stevenson. Did you let uh, Ali Amen or Yvonne Michel know that you were interested? Of course, Floyd said it, everybody said that let's, we want that fight for the next fight, hopefully in May, June or whatever, but I guess he fought from far instead. He wanted an easier fight, I don't know. He wanted it. I don't say that he's ducking me, but I don't, you know, I wanted that fight. Well, do you think he'll want to fight you if you if you win on Saturday and you, and you have a title and he'll want to fight you more because you have a title? Or? Hopefully, hopefully. One, one fight at a time, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking for the big fight after this, but I, I respect what's in front of me, and that's Nathan Cleverly. Thank you. We're going to take care of him first. But dude, how is Floyd to pass as a mentor to you? He's been, he's been great. You know, he, he's the one who got me uh, to this uh, you know, big stage. So he gave me all the big fights, he gave me a lot of good advice, not just in boxing, you know, outside the ring too. Can't ask for a better performance. Does having a title... How's it been different uh, working with him when he's fighting compared to like your last fight when you fought uh, Miguel? See, he just uh, come to the gym, support me, call me, text me whenever I need anything. He says he's there for me. I met him yesterday. At his, you know, he, he just positive and supportive. You know. 
I see Coach Wade over there. Can you speak of the, uh, the workouts you've been doing with Coach Wade and uh, the structure of it? How yeah. tough has it been? Uh, implementation of it? Real tough, real tough. <laughs> I can't wait to go on vacation. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's doing a great job. So last camp was one of my best camps so far. This is even better. And yeah, he's doing a great job in my career and I'm very happy. How much does he mean to you? He mean everything to me and, and we not just, uh, no, uh, he's not just my trainer, he's a good friend too. Yeah. So, uh,